I was told years ago that an average Peugeot car had 3,000 parts. So what you find on the road is not just one thing, it's those 3,000 parts put into components, components to systems, systems into the system, and into the overall body, and then the car is on the road. People don't know those kits. So we start running around with only one. It's just like giving. Giving doesn't guarantee prosperity. No. No. Giving sets the pace for it. Now there are things that must go in to take delivery of it. A giver who is a sleeper will be a pauper. Because what God bless is the work of your hand. <laughs> Well, God bless the work of your hand. All covenant fathers who are workers. There is not being an indolent, just run, run around, wake up in the morning, tie to well at 11 a.m. No. What are the covenant wisdom kits for successful living? Five of them. And they work like fire. Number one, identify your mission. Identify your field of play. What are you out to succeed at? Define it. I have my text from Ecclesiastes 10, verse 5 to 18. There's an evil which I've seen under the sun, as I never proceed from the king. I saw fully in high places and the wise in low places. I saw servants riding on horses and places walking on foot as servants. Either break it and edge, a savage shall bat him. So there's a broken covenant that was the reason for that misfortune. Now I then went on to a solution. Ecclesiastes 10 10. If the iron is burnt, you don't sharpen it. You need to put in more energy. But wisdom is profitable to direct. So the first requirement is direction. In the school of success, you must have direction. What is your mission? What's your purpose? What are you driving at? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Number two kit is discipline. I mean, sorry. Number two kit is wisdom. Learning the know-how to take delivery. Your mission is defined, but we need the know-how. The labor of the foolish will is every one of them because he knows not how to go about the given task. He knows not how. And you can't know how without learning how. What you don't know, you don't know. What you won't learn, you can't know. What you don't know, you pay for it. You can't know how without learning how. <laughs> you can't. I didn't train as a minister of the gospel, but I'm called to ministry. So I have to learn how ministry works, or it will never work. It will never work. <laughs> it will never work. Don't jump, don't jump to school after DJ chemistry. You can't be selling spare parts. You will fail the following day. The first acquisition is the last one you have. That is the know-how that you must go after to deliver any task. Amen. Amen. Covenant was going to start. It's not part of my assignment. I had to learn how a university that will last runs. And if you saw the news last yesterday or day before, Covenant, again, another ranking, number one, international science in West Africa, number three in Africa, number 73 in the world. Amen. Now, wait a minute. There are 2,600 universities in America. 2,600. Are you hearing? 2,600 in America. People don't, people don't waste their life for nothing. So I learned how he taught me. He made me to understand it, and I implanted it. 
Lama follows him. Yes. Lama follows him immediately. That's the power of know-how. That's it. I'm not guessing about ministry. I learned it. 39 biographies. Across centuries. I learned it. I learned how those who fulfilled and how to avoid it. I learned how those who went proud and crashed so I could avoid it. Now, number three key is discipline. Verse 16 of it, want to deal land when thy king is a child. That's one of the greatest problems here. The last one I said is number one problem, the know-how. The black man doesn't believe in know-how. Just let's go, my friend. If you want to help, help me. <laughs> I want to start business. He's going to business, do you know? He's not willing to learn. He carries BSC business admin to go and be selling textile. The man who taught you, does he know about textile? No, no, no. People just waste their life. Some have success. They don't know what to do with it. Sir. They don't know what. They are under pressure under it. So it's important to learn. He said, you want to hide the thing from a black man? Write in the book. Write in the book. You won't find it. You can talk from morning to evening, but you can't live for one hour. What are you saying now? Say it again. Let me hear. There are believers today in church, but again, that they read the Bible one hour in a week, you can't find it. Many. One hour, where will you get the time from? The next is discipline. Living as commanded, not as convenient. Now, living to deliver the mandate at a cost you subscribe to. All things are low for me, but don't know they are expedient. I will not be brought under the power of any. Listen to me, we couldn't afford to rent a house of 5,500 in 1986 in Kaduna. If you don't take 5,000, we don't have, you look another house. It's not our house. Five, some people today, they are on 100,000. They are renting a house of 18 million. Are you a thief? So you say, wonder what kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? You are starting a company, you are buying a new car. The company has not made one profit, one error. You started with borrowing. Where are you heading for? Gross indiscipline, sir. Can I tell you something? 1989, we could not afford the 45,000 naira per annum house. I said, is it for sale? You say, I'm so refreshed and relaxed. I'm not owing anybody. I will do my own I will do my own I will do my own thing. If you don't know your size, you just cut down. Discipline, discipline. You just go about just trying to pose until you are deposed. What are you, who are you posing to? Amen. Can you drive your car to somebody's house? Into the room. Uh, oh, oh, they, are, they say goodbye. So please come and see my car. <laughs> For what? Who wants to see your car? I want to be free. He said, Prepare thy work in the field. Make it fit for thyself. And after what? Build thy house. Come and say, Work first. Work first. People are looking for pleasure first. Too. Work first. If you put pleasure first, you down that pressure. Walk first. Walk first. Walk first. Am I looking for a house of 45,000 now to rent? Walk first. Walk first. Am I looking for a house to buy? No, I can only buy a street or a town. Walk first. 
Walk first. Walk first. That's discipline. This thing must walk first. And then pleasure comes after. Can I hear your amen? amen. And number four, hard work. Come and say hard work. Say hard work. Say it again. Hard Only hard workers emerge high flyers. Hard work. Through slothfulness, a building decays. By idleness of hands, a house drops through. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 18. Says that a man that is diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before what? Proverbs 22 and verse 29. This is where faith people have problem. I'm believing God. I'm believing God. He's doing nothing. Believing God to do it for you? No. Jesus, the anointed one, came and said, I must walk. The walk of it that said, Why this day, the night comes when no man can walk. I must walk. My father walked in that too. John 5, 17, and I walk. Paul said, I labor more abundantly than them all. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Our future has a lot to do with the quality of our labor today. Our future has a lot to do with the quality of our labor today. You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. And finally, as we round up, sacrifice is a distasteful word. And that is the key to making the most of anyone's mission on earth, sacrifice. I once stated, there is no star without a scar. And the scar of every star is sacrifice. There is no star without a scar. And the scar of every star is sacrifice. Jesus said, I've come to set fire on the earth. <laughs> what will I? Be already can do it. Luke 12, 49 and 50. But I have a baptism baptized with, and now am I straightened until it be accomplished? How am I straightened? I have a baptism we baptize with, and how am I stretched out to see it accomplished? Yeah, this was my father loved me because I laid down my life. I might take it again. No one took it from me. I laid down by myself that I might take it again. That sacrifice. He became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has also highly exalted him. To make the most of our engagement in any field of endeavor is sacrifice. Sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. I therefore cause every yoke of the wicked from off your life. Yeah.